All you need is a little juju. All you need is a little juju. Hey y'all, welcome to another video in collaboration with Real Talk Session Series with me, Juju Bay. And today I wanna to talk to y'all about one of my favorite elevated ancestors in the hoodoo tradition that is none other than High John the Conqueror. High John the Conqueror was an enslaved African man and he was enslaved in the American Southern United States. And he was known for his cunning ways. He was known for his wit and being able to outsmart the slave masters and being able to outsmart white people. So hi John, if he ever found himself in a bind or in a dangerous situation, you could always count on him to get out of that situation scotch-free and have other people around him looking like, now how did he do that? That was the energy of Hi John. So Hi John helps us get out of our binds. He helps us get out of difficult situations or there's situations where people may be trying to oppress or harm us. When we call on the spirit of Hi John, he's able to help us move out of those very difficult situations with joy, with laughter, being the smarter one and being the one that ends up on top and successful in the end. That is, that is high John. So when enslaved people were free during emancipation, high John said, okay, so slavery is over. So I'm going back home. But when I leave, know that I'm not leaving y'all behind. I'm putting my essence. I'm putting my spirits in a particular route. So if you ever need me to come back, if things become difficult again, feel free to just grab this root and pray to me and I will come back and make sure that you win. I will make sure that you are successful and that you get out of whatever difficult situation that you do with cunning, with grace and on top. So Hajan did not leave us and Hajan did not leave our ancestors. So he put his energy and essence into a root, which we call Hajan the Conqueror root, as you can see here. So the scientific name for this root is Apomia Jalapa, and it is actually not native to the United States, it is native to Mexico. So it's fair to say that this probably was not the exact root that Hi John was speaking of when he said to carry this root if you want to be successful and have good luck. But this is the root that is so commonly used within the hoodoo practice because it is accessible. The root that was probably used was Apomia ponderata, which is the root form of what we know as the flower, the morning glory. But traditionally, when you have or see a Hi John root, it will be Apomia jalapa just like this. So as I said before, Hi John is able to get us out of issues involving our oppressors, that we're able to dominate the situation and still do it being sleek and cool and funny and sly with a lot of wit. And I wanna share a story with you all about Frederick Douglass and how Frederick Douglass attributed his strength to get out of a difficult situation with his slave master having Hi John root on him. So Frederick Douglass shares a story with us from his memoir, A Narrative Life of Frederick Douglass, where he talks about how he used High John Root to beat up his slave master. So Frederick Douglass was sold to a plantation and the plantation owner was named Mr. Covey. And Mr. Covey was a horrible slave master. Okay, all slave masters were horrible, but Mr. Covey was one that was known to just be extremely irate, extremely erratic. He was an evil man. He beat his slaves. He never gave them anything that they needed. He was absolutely horrible. And people knew that Mr. Covey was not someone that you wanted to get sold to, but Frederick Douglass was. And so after one of his regular days at Mr. Covey's plantation, Mr. Covey came up to him and just started beating him. He, he pulverized Frederick Douglass. He had welts all over his skin. He was bleeding and Frederick Douglass was completely beside himself. He was clearly traumatized and upset. So after this really vicious and horrible beating, he runs off into a nearby forest just to gather his thoughts and to just gather his spirits and to get away from Mr. Covey. And while he was there, he runs into a, a root worker, a conjure doctor named Sandy. And Sandy says, Frederick, I have been waiting for you to come over here and meet me so I can give you something. And Frederick Douglass is like, what did you want to give me? Like, do you see me right now? I'm beat up. I'm not feeling well. Sandy's like, no, come on in here. You have to go back to the plantation. You can't stay here. 
but I'm going to give you something so that when you take it, you will not have to deal with that mess anymore when you get back to Mr. Covey's. And Frederick Douglass is like, you must not know Mr. Covey because I don't know what you could give me that would keep me safe from him. So Sandy says, just follow me. So they go deeper into the forest and, and Sandy grabs something, a root for Frederick Douglass and gives it to him and says, carry this on your right side in your right pocket. And when you have this, you will find strength and he will not bother you anymore. And of course, Frederick Douglass was like, I don't, I have nothing to lose. So, okay, Sandy, I will take this route. I will put it in my right pocket. And you're saying I have to go back to the plantation. So I'll do that. Sandy said, good. So Frederick Douglass moseyed on along back to Mr. Covey's plantation. And when he got back there, Mr. Covey was like, oh, hey, Frederick, how you doing? Mind you, Mr. Covey does not talk to any of his slaves like that. So Frederick Douglass was taken aback. He was like, how are you doing, sir? Good evening, sir. And they just spark up a conversation. So Frederick Douglass said, hmm, maybe this route does work, but let me see if it really works. So Frederick Douglass took that opportunity to grab Mr. Covey by his neck and continue to beat his ass. <laughs> And Mr. Covey didn't fight back and, and Frederick Douglass let out all of his anger. He is getting his revenge. I mean, he is taking over that situation. And in that moment, he was thinking, where did I get this strength from? Why is Mr. Covey not really fighting back? How am I successfully able to fight my plantation owner who is completely evil to everyone? He would never allow this. And he attributed that strength and that power and that success to the high John root, which we would probably know as the morning glory flower, Apomia ponderata. So that is a, a wonderful story that, that shows us that our ancestors and ancestors that we know of very well, still used hoodoo, still use root work to be able to get out of oppressed states and be fine and, and completely safe. And he was protected from Mr. Covey from that point on. So that's why High John Roots and the Elevated Ancestor of High John is a, is a wonderful spirit to call on when we feel like we are being oppressed, when we need to get out of binds, when we are trying to fight against white supremacy and white domination and perversion. This is a route that was given to us to be able to successfully move through that just as Frederick Douglass did and just as High John the Conqueror did. So I hope you all enjoyed this video about my fave High John. Don't forget to follow me at it's Juju Bay on Instagram as well as Twitter and also follow a little Juju podcast on Instagram. And then of course you got to check out Taryn over at the Real Talk Session series and listen to the Miseducation of the People podcast. Don't forget to rate, subscribe, review, five stars, all the things for both of us. And I'll see you all later. And remember, all you need is a little juju. Bye. A little juju is the way. It's how I start my day. Can't firm no sale.